I've missed who was next, I'm sorry, but I'll go Council Court over then Council Reet. Council Court over. Thank you, Mayor. We're in a time and place in history where we need to be respectful, mindful, and we need to recognise that we are only here but for land that was taken from the traditional custodians of Lutruita. And I want to proceed with that sensitivity, with that acknowledgement of history, and I want to welcome truth-telling, and that requires an acknowledgement of country, and it also requires an acknowledgement of, of how we got to this place where we currently are, and we'll never be able to move forward together without that truth-telling. So I do welcome an acknowledgement of traditional owners' policy. I think it's a good step forward, and I'm happy to um, watch as it develops um, with the proper engagement with, with the people whom it most affects. Uh, but it also affects all of us because the reason why we pay respect to elders past, present and emerging is because sovereignty was never ceded. And so a question that I had was, um, yeah, with respect, did we, in discussing this policy, did we ever um, think about the notion that sovereignty was never ceded and was that a concept that was discussed for inclusion or exclusion from this um, acknowledgement of so policy? My recollection, but I'm happy to be corrected by Mr Smee, is that um, it was actually Councillor Richard Atkinson who brought a notice of motion to Council in, in around 2015 and said uh, we ought to be acknowledging traditional owners at the start of Council events, in particular at these Council meetings. And so it wasn't... It was really from that perspective starting with nothing, with no acknowledgement, and that was a great first step. Um, but I'm not sure whether we went to the depths of, to that sort of level, and I think that's what this, what we're proposing to do now is to go a step further and in terms of what we're doing. Mr Smee, have I covered that okay? Would you like to add something? Oh, Mayor, no, you're absolutely correct in your recollection. 